Okay, I just got back. Um, Rocky's pretty agitated. There's danger afoot, so he's a kind of agitated a wee bit. Hold on a minute here. The hydro, I think, is parked out at the road. The hydro people are. So hopefully they'll do something. Um, I got stuff flying off my roof here. All that stuff there is up there to hold the tarps down. And it's flying off the roof. It is. It's all blowing around up there. You can see one piece of metal up there just... So that's because I have tarps to try and keep the roof from leaking and the wind is blowing them off. Um, if we go this way, you can see here. There's still a big mess in the yard. But, uh, yeah, uh, I saw a bunch of trees break apart and fall down in there when I was walking this way. One of them went over just like just like dominoes anyway there's my chair <laughs> all right let's open up the stove here i suppose i should put the wind guards up i'm not even wearing my hat because i know there's no point <laughs> it's a totally pointless thing to do oh rocky hey okay move out of my way thank you you're a good boy. I'm appreciative of you, I am. Okay, go up, go upstairs, okay? Go on upstairs. I have to uh, return the torch off so I'm not shining it in his face. So I'm not torturing him. He's pretty agitated, I'll tell you. He's like, what on earth is going on? Is it the end of the world or what? It wouldn't surprise me, actually. If the way things have been going these last few years, it wouldn't surprise me. We might see Jesus coming down out of the clouds any minute now. And I don't say that in a mocking way. I actually think it could happen at this point. It wouldn't surprise me at all. Now I need to do my water bag thing here. This is going to be kind of a miserable ordeal, but it needs to be done. So, hey you. Anyway, yeah. So welcome to, to Camp Crazy. The windiest crazy camp on earth. Hey Rocky, what do you think my friend? It's wild out there. It's wild and wild and wild enough, Rocky. This is not easy, I'll tell you. Everything's difficult. It is. You make life easier though, you do. Because you're wonderful. And I'm very appreciative of you. You don't even know. You can't possibly even know how much I appreciate you. I don't think there's an instrument that can even measure it, Rocky. I'm glad I'm not all back here by myself in this wind, listening to the wind howl, because it would be very depressing. You're the one ray of sunshine in this dark and depressing chapter in our lives that we're going through at the moment. Anyway, it's pretty wild. Um, like I say, the hydro truck is out at the road, so hopefully they'll have the power back on at the house soon. I won't be uploading this video until that happens. But anyway, that's it. I guess we'll talk to y'all later. Bye for now.